In this video, we will configure multiple master devices to communicate with the outstation devices configured in the previous video. To create new masters in DTM, we right-click on DTM, select Manage, Add, and I want to group my masters together, so I'm going to add a folder. We'll name the folder DNP3 Masters. Folders allow us to group similar stations together. We can then take action on all of the devices in the folder at the same time. For example, we can set up data simulation on all of the outstations, or set up polling on multiple masters. We'll show examples of this in future videos. Once the group has been created, I can right-click on the folder and select Manage, Add, DNP3, Masters. This opens a dialog which lets us configure the device. We can click through the various tabs and see the different configuration options. For this demo, we'll use the default selections on the device, channel, and session tables. The advanced tab allows configuration of items that are not usually changed. Once again, we'll just take the defaults. On the multiple devices tab, we'll select the create multiple masters radio button. We want to communicate with six outstations in this demo, so we'll create six masters. Notice that the table is populated with configuration data for each device. Here we could change the device name or other information. Note that by default, the devices start with the port specified on the channel tab, in this case the DNP3 default port of 20,000, and increment for each device. Since we're just using the defaults for this demo, we could select OK. However, I'm going to cancel in order to show how to configure devices using a comma-separated value or CSV file. Using a CSV file allows us to configure multiple devices at the same time, even if their configuration differs. Here we see a sample CSV file. Notice the first row describes the contents of each column, and each subsequent row contains configuration information for the device. In this example, I'm configuring six devices with pretty much identical configurations. However, we could just as easily have different configuration values in each column, allowing us to configure multiple devices with different configurations. To load the CSV file, I click Load Configuration from CSV file and select the file in the subsequent browser. Once again, we can see each of the devices and the configuration as it was loaded from the file. Now we can click OK. We now have six DNP3 master stations. If we look in the device tree, we can see that each of the masters and outstations now show a successful connection. In the next video, we'll look at how to display a DNP3 protocol analyzer. Subsequent videos will show how to initiate polling and issue other DNP3 commands from the masters.